The flexible power supply options including the DC locking which we have the connection at the side of both the transmitter and the receiver along with the MPF battery option that we can go ahead and power each of these devices with MPF batteries. The Pyro S transmitter supports streaming via a wireless network card so again at the side of the transmitter we do have a USB-C connection and we can go ahead and connect a wireless network card and that's going to supply an internet access and then from there we can open up the Hollyview app and live stream directly from the app. The receiver does support USB video class UVC so therefore you can go ahead and send the signal from the transmitter to the receiver and on the receiver USB-C connection to our PC via USB and open it up for an example in Zoom, OBS or vMix just as a simple video camera input source device. I've already tried it here on OBS and it's been working fantastic with very minimal delay. So as far as powering on the transmitter and the receiver for your very first time, I'm going to tell you it's very user friendly. I didn't have to do nothing besides connect my HDMI connections, connect my power sources and power it on and bang within a few seconds or so, call it 30 seconds, I had a video image coming to my receiver wirelessly from the transmitter over here onto my camera.